Welcome to Proof. My name is Chris. I'm one of the co-founders and head of customer success. And I just want to say that we are absolutely thrilled to have you. And so in this quick video, I want to do two specific things for you. The first thing I want to do is give you a quick tour of Proof so that you know how to navigate through the app when you sign up for the first time or maybe when you log in for the 30th time. I just want to make sure you know where everything is uh, when you log in. And then the second thing I want to do is click by clicks, walk you through how to set up your very first Proof notification so that you can get Proof working your site um, immediately. And so as you look here at the dashboard, this is the main getting started page. This is going to be the welcome. So every time you want to add a new Proof notification to your website, you'll always want to click on the new button here. So when you click on the new button here, it'll take you to the very first step of how to add proof to your website. So we'll come back to this when I walk you through this, but every time you want to add a new notification, you always want to click on the new button here. Now under the manage tab here is where you'll find the different features that we will be releasing. So you'll see here we have the notifications section here. We have the traffic feed, which is in beta, and we'll be adding more and more features to proof, which you'll find here in the manage. And so maybe you've already created your very first notification. You want to go back and edit your existing one. So you'll actually go back here to notifications, click on that, and you'll see a list of all the notifications you've created. So you can actually go in and you can click on maybe an existing one. You'll see what the notification says, the settings you have it set from, where you're capturing from, where you're displaying from. Recently tracked conversions, you can edit there in the edit notification button here. So that's where you'll want to manage all your existing notifications. And then here's your traffic feed. This is where another feature that we'll be rolling out where you can actually see who is coming into your funnel and the process they're doing that. So this is where you'll find the traffic feed. Now under the account is where you'll find everything related to your account. So if you haven't installed the proof pixel, you want to find the pixel code here. So you click on the pixel here, pixel install button here. You'll actually copy that code in, put it on your website. And uh, kind of what we recommend doing is that you want to put the proof pixel on every page where you intend to capture leads and you want to display leads. So again, notifications will not show up in pages where the proof pixel is not and proof is not able to capture leads unless the proof pixel is present. So it's really important that you get that pixel installed on your pages. Now under the settings section here is where you'll find all the information about how to change your email address, change your password, see what plan you're on. You can upgrade, downgrade here. You can see how much traffic you've used, how much is allotted, how many days are left in your billing cycle, and also where you can change your credit card information. So you'll find that all that inside the account section here. And then the, down here in the bottom right, you'll always see this help center. So this is where you'll find the best help. You want to make sure that anytime you have a question to search in the help bar here. So you can search here, find specific articles about your question, or you can simply go to help docs here and you'll see all the different articles that we have that will answer your questions. And so I would recommend reading through all the articles first before reaching out to us because this is the best way for you to get information quick and timely, which I know is what you want. Now, if there's an issue where you can't find it in the article deck, you can definitely look here and submit a ticket and our customer success team will get to you as soon as possible. But again, the best way to start is looking through all the articles as that's where you'll find um, instant help um, there. So that's kind of how the app works. That's a tour. So that on the left side, you have your navigation and then the bottom right is where you'll always have the help center. So now what I want to do is walk you through how to set up your very first notification click by click. So the first thing you want to do is click on the new button here. And this will take you to the very first step of adding proof to your website. And so it's really important to know that proof is URL based. So it operates a little bit differently than maybe a Facebook pixel where you're tracking conversions. So we actually grab the, the information from your leads on the actual form page. So in order for proof to work on your website, you must have an email form field somewhere on your site. And if you do not have that on your site, or maybe you grab emails differently, you can always use our webhook integration here. So you'll click on Webhook integration where you can integrate with Infusionsoft, ClickFunnels, or a custom webhook. Where you can click on that and you'll get more information on that. But we always recommend using the, our built-in feature here. So you'll click on this again. It'll take you back to here. And so what you'll want to do is make sure you understand where the proof pixel is, where the lead form is. And so in this case, you'll be able to click on this button right here. And so proof will now auto-populate all the different pages where you have the proof pixel installed. So now you can just click and choose which ones you want to do it. So for instance, we want to capture from the contact page. So we'll click on the contact page here. This is where the form field is located. So we're capturing leads from this page because that's where we're gathering the email address and that's where we'll capture from. And you'll click next. So now you'll decide where do we want to display that lead activity. And so again, you can choose one or more pages here. And so maybe you want to show it on the inventory page, the home page, the blog page. And so you can choose as many as you want here and just click through it. So now we're capturing leads from that contact page and we're displaying it here on these three specific pages. Now, if you want to show it across your entire site, you can use the advanced setting here and you can use a contains. So maybe you want to contains and just put in your domain here, here, imagineservices.com. And we'll just go across that entire domain. Or if you want to show it on a very exact page, you can then use the exact setting. So we'll only show on that exact URL. So in this case, you'd want to include the HTTPS like that since it's the exact match. But we always recommend using the basic setting because we can control that better. We can help you troubleshoot better. So you just want to get the proof pixel installed and then choose the URLs that you intend to use. And so a lot of people ask us, what pages should we put this on? We recommend 
that you don't put it on every single page of your website because it kind of diminishes the impact of social proof. And so what we recommend, and what we've seen across the board, is that order forms are the best place to use proof. So if you have an order form on your sales funnel, absolutely use it there. And then the second best place would be your highest friction of email opt-in. So maybe it's the contact page or maybe it's the very first lead magnet of your funnel. Kind of that very strategic spots where you want to put it where there's more friction, where they have to give you an email address, where they have to give you a credit card information. That's where we found proof works best. And so again, I would recommend being really thoughtful and strategic with where you put proof rather than just putting across your entire site as you really want to use those as a little social nudge to get people to take action. So you've captured, you've put in your capture URL, you put in your display URL. If you don't see your the, the URL that you want to use on here, that means the pixel is not on the page. So you want to go back here, click on the pixel install, and go add the pixel to your website here. And now you go next, and this is where you'll want to add the messaging. So what you can just put, I'll just put recently, download the five-step guide, something like that. And what we recommend here is make sure that the message matches the offer. And so if, if you're offering a five-step guide on your website, make sure that the messaging of proof matches that so that there's good synergy there. The last thing you want to do is have uh, confusion with the offer and then what people are doing. So make sure you're really thoughtful with the, the message you're using and make sure it matches perfectly with the offer that's on the page that you're displaying it on. So you can put the messaging in there and then here's the customized feature and this is a lot of things you can do here uh, that we offer up and so you can change the appearance. If you don't want to show social images, you can show maps only. You can upload your, a logo so the logo shows up every time. If, if it's affecting your mobile experience, you can turn notifications off on mobile. Um, if you have a form maybe at the bottom of the page and it gets jumbled, you can show proof at the top so it's at the top of the page rather than the bottom which is a good user experience. Um, the live visitor tracking here is available for pro members and this actually is the very first notification on the page that people see and so you'll see how many people are viewing this page and so you can you know display number of visitors on the entire domain or just a very specific page you can set rules by only show it when there's a certain amount or you can change what these people are called maybe you want to do marketers are viewing this page and so you can change all that information in there and here's more of the custom rules if you want to display by default we display the last 20 conversions and we cycle through those the last 20 um, to keep it fresh to keep it recent um, but if maybe you want to show the last 10 or 15 you can change those rules here uh, conversions from a certain amount of time periods. So maybe you don't want to show conversions from beyond seven days. You'll change that there. Um, or there's a lot of people will ask, well, what if I only have one sale on there? I don't want to keep just repeating that same one. Well, here's where you can set a rule to display if there's at least three conversions. So it will proof will not show until you get three sales and then we'll start funneling through that. So you can set those rules there. Um, and here's just some more other options where you can prevent users from seeing their own notification. We recommend doing that just, just to make sure people don't see their own notifications. You can toggle that on. And then here's some timing features we have here for business members where you can delay the very first notification. So maybe you don't want the first notification to show until 20 seconds they're on the page and display each one for five seconds. And then we want to maybe have a 15 second break in between. So this is kind of where you can begin to test and see what works best for your audience. We have the default already set um, to what's been most optimized, but you can definitely change this to whatever you feel is best for your audience there. And then here's the language setting where you can begin to change the, the language from English to whatever um, your audience speaks. And so that's the customized section here. You can begin to choose that. Again, if you set it at something and you want to come back later and change it to maybe refine it, you can always go back to notifications. You can click on edit and you can come back here and you can change an existing one anytime by just going to the manage section here. So we'll hit save here. And this is where you'll name it, your internal name. So maybe you want to name this, um, you know, lead magnet number two or maybe lead magnet contact page. And that's it, and you'll quickly simple launch, and you'll now see the notification will be active, and it's inside of your managed notifications here. You can actually go back in, and you can see what you just did. So it's capturing from this page, displaying on these page. Here's the message you're using. It's active. If you ever want to turn any notification off, you can simply just click inactive here or active there, and that will turn those on and off there. So you'll see all of that inside of your managed notifications here. So there it is. There's the tour of proof. There's how the app works. There's how to find your best help via the Help Center, and there's exactly click by click how to get your very first notification live on your site. We're absolutely thrilled to have you and let us know if we can do anything else.